Hi everyone, Michael Cavaccini here. I hope you're doing well. Today I want to talk to you about 12 Months to Live by James Patterson and Mike Lupica. This book comes out September 25th, 2023. So if you're watching this video right now, uh, September is upon us. So this book is coming out very soon. I read it. I just, uh, I got an advanced copy because I'm part of the James Patterson street team. So thank you to uh, uh, Little Brown and Company for an advanced copy of the book. Do appreciate it. But I want to talk to you about the book itself and uh, my thoughts on it. So uh, this is my first time reading a book by James Patterson and Mike Lupica. I've obviously read plenty of James Patterson books. He's been writing for quite some time. But Mike Lupica, according to the back of the book here, is a Hall of Fame sports columnist and author of 16 New York Times bestselling novels. He's also a funny guy. He's got a good sense of humor. Um, and you can detect that in the writing. Um, now, for those of you who don't know, James Patterson is the world's best-selling author, and um, he is famous for the Alex Cross novels, the Women's Murder Club, um, Michael Bennett, uh, the private novels, and there's so many, the Maximum Ride. Uh, there, he has a variety of series that he's done over the years, including a bunch of standalone books, and he's famous for collaborating with other authors. Um, and he's written before with Michael Lupica, but this is my first time reading one of their books. So, uh, first, let me give you a little bit of an overview as to what this book is about, and then I will share my thoughts. Okay, so this is the description on the back of the book. Tough as nails, criminal defense attorney Jane Smith is hip deep in the murder trial of the century. Actually, her charmless client might have committed several murders. She's also fallen in love with a wonderful guy and an equally wonderful dog, a mutt. But Jane doesn't have much time. She's just received a terminal diagnosis, giving her 12 months, unless she's murdered before her expiration date. So the premise is really interesting, right? Um, so Jane is a lawyer, and I've read plenty of legal thrillers in the past of uh, Lisa Scottolini, uh, James Patterson, Harlan Coben, and others, and Stuart Woods. Um, this is a really good one. I have to say, Jane Smith is a likable character. Um, her sidekick, uh, Jimmy, is also very likable. I enjoy uh, his antics and his personality in the book. The The client that she represents, um, you know, where they say that you know, this person may have committed the crimes. Not as likable, but I think that's kind of what makes it intriguing, because as you're reading the book, you're wondering, did he do it, didn't he do it, you know, what's the situation here? Um, that creates a certain level of mystery. And then they talk about her, you know, potentially being murdered. Of course, there's situations throughout the book where her life is at stake, uh, and of course, uh, others as well. So there's lots of um, drama in the courtroom, but there's lots of drama outside of the courtroom as well. Uh, and she's a character that, like I said, I enjoy. Uh, James Patterson through Michael Bennett, Alex Cross, and others. Uh, has done a fantastic job of creating characters that we can relate to, that we can identify with. And that's the same case with Jane Smith. doesn't matter that I'm a male. I think that I can totally identify with Jane and the struggles that she goes through and the inner turmoil that she might have to deal with. Um, and of course, the fact that she's told that she has 12 months to live, right? That uh, she has a disease. I don't want to spoil anything beyond that, but we can all relate to that. We all know someone who has had a terminal illness, overcame an illness, uh, or didn't, right? Um, so uh, it's definitely relatable. Uh, and we all think about our mortality, you know, how much time do we have here? Uh, so I think it, it's a very uh, relatable book. It's also an easy read. Uh, chapters are short, so you can blow through them real quickly, you know, signature James Patterson style. Um, so you can do just a few chapters here and there. That's the way I read it. I just read like, you know, three or four chapters at a time, put it down, came back every day, just kind of did that, and got through it in a few weeks. Obviously, I could have read it a heck of a lot faster, but um, I have a kid, and, <laughs> you know, of course, there's work and everything else, so there's only so much I can do uh, to read it quickly. I know some people can blow through these books in one sitting, which I think is amazing. I've never done that with a book. Have you? So let me know. But if you're debating, hey, should I buy it, shouldn't I buy it, um, buy it. You know, this book is definitely a winner. It's one that is potentially the start of something new, right? I think that they created this character, Jane Smith, um, to 
to, you know, to use her again, because on the back it says, Jane Smith is the best character we've ever created, bar none. So that makes me think that she's returning uh, to some degree. Um, but who knows, right? I mean, we don't know. Is that a sequel? Is it a prequel? What is it going to be? I mean, you never know with books, movies, TV shows, uh, which direction we're going to go. But um, yeah, 12 Months to Live gets two thumbs up from me. Um, so I, you know, I definitely recommend it. It's another winner from James Patterson. Um, and I am eager to check out uh, other books by James Patterson and Mike Lupica. Uh, and of course, them individually. Uh, I think they're both very gifted writers, and if you're looking for a nice, quick, breezy read uh, for the falls, the weather gets nice and mild, uh, and you know the leaves are falling, and you just want to, you know, enjoy the weather and uh, read a nice book in the park or outside or um, from the comfort of your own home. This is a an excellent choice, so I highly recommend you check it out. Uh, there's a link down below for you to buy it. So if you're unsure. Uh, you know, um, where to go to buy it, I'm including a link down below. So click that link, pick up a copy. Um, there'll be uh, hardback, ebook, audiobook, and um, eventually there'll be paperback. But this is an advanced reader's copy, so that's why this is a, a paperback book. But yeah, pick it up. Um, I'm probably going to, even though I got this book for free, I think eventually I would buy a copy of this book because I enjoyed it that much. Uh, and I love audiobooks, so I, I would be very interested in hearing the audiobook version of this as well. Because when you're reading the book, you start to think in your head, ooh, what do the characters sound like? So if you listen to an audiobook, you're like, oh, does it match up? Right? Or maybe they come up with a character voice that's way better than what you were thinking. Um, so either way, 12 Months to Live, James Patterson and Mike Lupica is a winner. I uh, highly recommend it. And after you read it, come back. Let me know. What are your thoughts? Did you enjoy it? Did you not enjoy it? All opinions are welcome, so let me know what your thoughts are on 12 Months to Live by James Patterson and Mike Lupica. Thanks again for tuning in, and thank you to Little Brown and Company for this advanced reader's copy. Happy to be part of the James Patterson Street Team and provide all of you with my honest opinion on these books. So I hope you have a great day. Happy reading.